<coughs> Hello everyone. We are here again. We got the mics hard. We were talking about it last episode. And we're gonna talk about it again. Go Hold ahead, on, sir. buddy. Slow it down. Yeah, so I was passing it to you. Alright, thank you. Appreciate you. I didn't know where you were going there for a second. Let's continue on with your review. Now we we finished off with that episode with why doesn't it make you it a tin? You said you don't like alcohol, correct? Yeah, the taste of alcohol. If you could not, okay, my bad. Sorry to cut you off. But I like the way it makes me feel, but I don't like the taste. Irrelevant. Okay. Okay. Um. If it didn't taste like alcohol to you not too much you would like it. um yeah so if they diminished it just a little and you could taste more of the if the first thing you tasted was the the drink then at the hint at the end you'd have the hint of alcohol would oh. you have liked that more yeah probably yeah so if they reversed it, because the first thing you said, the first thing you can taste is the alcohol. Yeah. So if they they need new mixologists, mm. bartenders, people mm. with the that pass their test for bartending need to come in there. They need to hire all new bartenders to redo that because mm. it's not mixed right. If mm. I can say that and you can say that mm. because we have the same thought, mm -hmm. it would be a lot better. Right. But did you like? He said he liked the can. Oh yeah, got the lion on it. Oh, I that's also, not even a lion. I don't even. I know. Also, a shark. Yeah, oh. it represents Baja Blast to me. When I think Baja, I think beach and blast. Surfing I think of like tides. Ba blast, I think of like explosions. Mm. But that represents Baja Blast, yeah. and I like how uniform all the. Uh, cans are. They all are black and have different stuff going on. It's not just a copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. They like um like yeah, it's nice. Uh when you cracked open it, did you like hearing that tss? Oh yeah, you gotta love the tss. Alright. That's a good you know, experience. Whenever you open a can of like Mike's Hard and crap like that, you wanna hear it. When you first shipped it. How was that experience? Did you sip it and were immediately blasted into another world? Did you sip it and immediately relive anything, have a ratatouille moment? Or did you sip it and it'd be like, mm, it's okay? Or did you sip it and say, ew, this is disgusting and want to spit it out? I didn't have a ratatouille moment. I was just here in the moment and just sipping it and focusing on what it tasted like. Now, Dante, for the record, can you say you are not a drinker? Uh, yeah, I'm not a drinker. Now the drinks you do have, they're like they're like these, the five percent alcohol uh, ones. I don't drink like the heavy he stuff. Doesn't really. drink hard liquor, but he can immediately identify that there is liquor in this drink. He can immediately identify that there is juice afterwards of the liquor, and oh, he yeah. doesn't drink alcohol heavy. That's a problem to me personally. Um, now after you took the sip, you took a couple of gulps, pause, and you finished off about half of the bottle of the regular. Oh, I finished that one. Oh, you finished it. What, uh, and how did you feel after that? Was it different compared, was the first sip different compared mm -hmm. to the rest of the drink? Yeah, um, like with these, I felt that I would taste alcohol more on the first sip. Now, I taste just like the Mountain Dew. Hmm. Would you say you've grown accustomed? That might be it, yeah. To it? Probably. Would you say in your opinion, it isn't as good as it could be though? Um, it's close. It's close. I want to taste the watermelon because you said that's the best one. Okay. But uh, I don't, I don't think you can do much better, but it's, it's good. I hold Mountain Dew to another standard. 
Ooh. They've been making drinks millions of billions of dollars have gone into this industry and you can make this perfect perfect i'll give and him a chance fact, i'll give him a chance because this is the first time delving into yeah, mixed drinks yeah of course of course this is why you need criticism like me you need to know what can make this perfect because we can't all just agree and nod our head that this is good because it's not work it's okay I wouldn't call it good. It's not where it needs to be. If it was where it needed to be, these would be falling off the shelves. And when I went to the gas station, there was a surplus supply. Of it. Sur surplus supply. If these were good, like the Patty LaBelle pies, I'm making an example of that, they would have been flying off the shelves. Patty LaBelle. If these were good, TV. you would have been hearing about it all over social media and everything. TikTok. But it's not as good as it needs to be. Yeah. And that can improve Tenfold. only in the mixologist. Oh, okay. Because everything else has been great. I'm not gonna hold you. That's the experience of the can has been great. The fact that it's cheap has been great. Oh yeah. The fact that all of the cans are unique has been great. Oh yeah. Just needs to be a little bit better. Anyways, uh, after I got that off my system and Dante has correctly reviewed his uh, drink, his Baja Blast. Yeah. Let's let's go ahead and read, man. Whoa! Let's go ahead and read. <clears throat> I'm gonna be eating too while I'm doing this, but Dante will hold it. All right. Um. Clamps. Jesus, uh, well, the Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. Oh, you want me to be Phoenix? Oh, why are you eating? Okay. Oh, guys. Oh. <laughs> Wish we had some clients. Mm -hmm. Oh, where are we going? Oh. A month has passed since my trial. Oh. I think the inner monologue should be more um, masculine. Uh, he is 24, so he doesn't know a lot of what's going on. He will sound like us. Nah, probably not. Mia's, we, Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. Oh. But no one paid any attention to the right and cold law offices. Mm. How am I going to pay the rent this month? Oh, we broke. Rope, rope. Well, dang. It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Huh. 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 Oh, October 16th, 8 14 a.m. on Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Hey, yo, mm -hmm. what's going on in there? <laughs> Guess what? We're gonna find out what she's talking about next time. Next time on Justin Tips. You feel me? Because we're gonna be here. I'm gonna crack another one, and we're gonna have a good I old time. I drank a beer. Yeah. I drank two beers. Peace out. <laughs>